Hey y'all, welcome back to Satisfactory. I cut the last episode a little short, but I did some work off camera, as you can see. There are 50 constructors shoved into this floor. 40 of them making steel pipes and 10 of them making... Screws. Yes, screws. I told you guys I don't like screws, but it made it a lot simpler to use them in this case. So that last row over there is set up to make screws, whereas these four rows are all set up to make steel pipes. And the steel is going to come from up top. I'm going to be making a fourth floor, and on the fourth floor I'm going to have foundries enough to be making 600 steel. It's going to be insane. I need to build another row of smelters over here for one more row of iron so that I can have enough iron to make all those screws and then I'll have my reinforced or my heavy modular frames almost done because I've got the steel pipes I'll have the modular or I'll have the screws so that's two two items just done right there another portion of the steel pipes from downstairs will go upstairs to make the encased industrial beams and then the screws plus some reinforced iron plate uh, yeah reinforced iron plates that I'll be getting will be making no, no the screws will come up here sorry steel pipes a portion of the steel pipes from downstairs will go to make encased industrial beams another portion of them will go to make modular frames along with reinforced iron plates which I still have to set up but everything's coming together we will have our reinforced or I keep wanting to call them reinforced modular frames they're heavy modular frames. We will have those set up in the near future. Today what I want to do, since I got this entire floor down here done, is I want to get the next floor going. Which is where I'm going to be making my modular frames and encased industrial beams. So, that's a thing. And I can't make this too high because of that guy. He's just flying all over my new base, which is crazy. So, I need to make eight of these and have one overclocked to 33%. So yeah, we are going to have eight assemblers up here making industrial beams. And then we're going to have, how many again? I need like 50 a minute. Right, get back here, not rotors. Not that recipe. That recipe. Then I need about 50 a minute of these. I'm probably just going to run 8 of them at 100% and just deal with the, the deficit of 2 a minute. It's not going to affect our efficiency all that much. But 8 of these means I need 96 reinforced iron plates. And those are going to be made using the stitched iron plate recipe which means I need 13 of these 13 assemblers making reinforced iron plates uh, I need 30 oh no I need 29 assemblers <laughs> ah, this building's probably gonna be too tall because or maybe not because I don't want it to be more than four stories tall because of this guy. I still got to do some math to see if he's too big. That His wing clipping through that bothers me just a little bit. But I may end up having to do all my iron smelting and my uh, steel forging down here. In order to have enough space. And then I'll have to find a, a different place for all of my other buildings. But that's okay. So, we've got some work to do. We need to set up our, what did I say? Oh yeah, we need to set up some assemblers to work with our uh, encased industrial beams first. All right, there they are, done. Next project. <laughs> if only it were so simple. No, 
Now I need to go through and select all the items, get them all up to power, get the conveyor belts into them, and yeah. Alrighty, so this floor has 24 assemblers on it. Those eight over there are making encased industrial beams with this one overclocked to 30 to 133%. These eight here are making modular frames with this one overclocked to 133%. And these eight over here, they are making reinforced iron plates. Now, a bit of a trick to this. All of these have been overclocked to at least 50%, with the first two being overclocked to 200%. So there's essentially 13 assemblers here for reinforced iron plates, which is great because that's how many I need. So I decided to go against my whole no overclocking business with this menu with this factory because I got a lot of extra shards and I don't have a lot of space. I mean, I got plenty of space, but I didn't want to split the manufacturing to different floors and stuff. I think this works really well. It looks really good and it'll work out. It'll work out just fine. So now what I got to do is put in all of the input outputs and then we can move on to the next floor. The next floor is what's going to be making all of my iron plates and wire for these guys. Because the rest of the stuff's being made downstairs. So it'll work out great. Oh, one thing I forgot to consider or take into account, moving the concrete up and down or up to here, because I'm going to need 180 or so. so I got to move some of the concrete from over there this way. And I don't know exactly where I want it to come up. Thinking I might bring it up right here just because I can but then again it won't really work with what I got set up on the constructors there so I got to figure that out but that'll be a job for later and now that floor is complete the only thing I need to do now is get all the resources into here to make it work and we will be pretty much operational because I've got manufacturing lines for all four items for the heavy modular frames in place. Got the encased industrial beams, the modular frames, and then below I've got the steel pipes and screws all going up into here. So we should be able to make 10 a minute very soon. I just need to add one more floor and from there we will be able to, uh, on that floor we'll make wire and iron plates bring them down to here and then i gotta set up some steel and we'll be good we'll be good so let me work on that but actually you know what i'm going to leave this episode here because again these things take a long time to make now because it's just so complicated, everything I've got to get done. And, well, it's not complicated, it's just the amount of stuff I have to build per episode is enormous. So, I will build the next floor off camera, and then next episode we will get this project done and working. So we will have our modular frames and heavy modular frames automated and being stored for our uses. So, if you liked what you saw, please hit that like button, subscribe to see more, and y'all come back now.